Life is a beautiful ride, so let's work on that vlog. Hi, Kimberbell friends, Kristen Som here, and we are continuing with our sentiment blocks. So today we're gonna to work on number 14 because life is a beautiful ride. This is a great block for me, I love this one. All right, so I am going to um, go over the basics and we have our main fabric, the background fabric, which is this light, um, I don't know what you call it, like lines all over it. And there's also a darker one, so just make sure you use the correct one. It's the lighter of the two. And the size for this one is going to be 10 and a half by eight and a half. And as always, back it with fusible mesh stabilizer. And then we also just need our batting. And I've cut my batting to seven by nine. So at least seven by nine is all you need to know. And then for our threads, we need, um, for the life is a ride, we need a tealish greenish color. And then for the beautiful, I think it's supposed to be red, but I'm doing the dark pink that is in the um, thread kit for Vintage Boardwalk. And then for the little swirly sign, it's a uh, dark gray. And then for this one, um, I have chosen lines one and mine is, I bought this one at very, when they first came out with the quilting. So mine didn't have an eight by six. Um, the newer ones probably do, I'm not sure. But um, what I'm doing is I'm going to use the eight by six in vertical and I'm going to rotate it. And that's super easy to do. I'll even show you on the video if, if you need to do that. But I'm assuming that if you buy it recently, it probably comes with an eight by six, but even if not, you can rotate it. So I'm doing the vertical and then I'm rotating it. And the size that we want for our quilting is eight by six. And I am going to use this light tan and it's not in the Vintage Boardwalk Thread Kit. Um, there is a, a light brown color that you could use, but I just wanted something that's going to meld in with the fabric because I don't want it, I don't want the quilting to take away from the sentiment on this one. So personal choice, do what works for you. Um, so beautiful ride in eight by six quilting and lines one is what I'm using. Let's do it. Hey everyone, let's talk hoop size for just a minute. For this Life is a Beautiful Ride block, I'm gonna use my seven by 12, I, I changed my mind. So the design comes up sideways and so that I don't have to rotate it and I don't have to change my um, the direction of my quilting. So I am going to use the, what was it? eight by six quilting <clears throat> and it's sideways I'm using the vertical lines so it'll fit fine in my seven by twelve hoop if you're going to use a six by ten hoop then that will work too but you'll need to remove steps three and four because those are the steps placement and tack down for the uh, main fabric and that's what makes the design become six and a half um, what was it? <clears throat> six and a half by eight and a half. And so that won't fit in a six by 10 hoop. So the easiest way if you're using a six by 10 hoop is to just delete steps three and four. That's up to you. Or if you're using a five by seven hoop, then that's doable too. You would do two designs in four by six because four by six and four by six is going to equal eight by six. So you can do this design with the quilting the entire block using any of these three hoops. You could also use your nine by nine. Um, anyway, if you do use the nine by nine, then you don't have to, then you will have to reorient both the quilting and the um, main design, but that's super easy to do. I've shown that on other tutorials. So you're all set, choose your hoop. <laughs> 